occasion. Our dear sister, Justice Hima Kohli, her family members, including Nilu, all those who have come here to be part of this occasion on the last working day of uh, Justice Hima Kohli as a judge of the Supreme Court, including Justice Nanda, who has come from the Telangana High Court, the first woman judge of the Telangana High Court from the bar, brother and sister judges of the Supreme Court, Mr. R. Venkatramani, Attorney General for India, Mr. Kapil Sibal, President SCBA, office bearers and members of SCBA and SCORA, including the President of SCORA and the other office bearers, ladies and gentlemen. Well, after the beautiful poem, which has been coined by Mr. Kapil Sibal, I don't think I can match him in his creativity by coining a poem of my own, but I can certainly reproduce what somebody else has written, so I'll begin with it. And I'll begin by saying, Hima, gunjte rahe hain alfaz mere kano mein, gunjte rahte hain alfaz mere kano mein, tu, te, tu to aram se keh deti hai, Allah Hafiz. As we gather here this evening to bid farewell to one of our dear and esteemed colleagues and a very dear friend, Justice Hima Kohli, I derive solace from the fact that we may be parting with her company here at the Supreme Court. But her wisdom, her robust common sense as a fellow student of law will continue to shine through her pursuits and will continue to inspire the profession. I've had the privilege of sharing the dais with Justice Hima Kohli, and I believe I speak for my colleagues when I say that her legacy is truly one of a kind. Born in a family of history professors, Justice Hima Kohli followed in the footsteps of her grandfather and studied history at St. Stephen's College in Delhi. She ended up pursuing LLB only so that she could have access to a library that would facilitate her preparation for the civil service